Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Baltimore, Washington, BWI International Airport. You know, everyone seems to talk about Disney's Magical Express and how awesome and reliable that bus service is, but no one ever seems to talk about Universal Orlando's Superstar Shuttle service. And we started thinking, you know, if you're headed direct from MCO, Orlando International Airport, to Universal, you might need to know how that works. So here's a little gift from us to you. We're gonna walk you through the entire process of Superstar Shuttle, show you how every leg of that journey works. The first step is booking Superstar Shuttle to a Universal Resort, which can be done from home. You can either book the shuttle as part of a vacation package, or you can call Universal Guest Services to add it as a separate service to a room-only reservation. If you do book online, you'll receive a follow-up email requesting flight information and a confirmation number for your package, which is then used to match the bus to that package. The price for this service is currently $39 per person round trip, and we usually tip the driver a couple bucks too. In the end, Superstar Shuttle comes out to be slightly more expensive expensive than Uber or Lyft. For us though, the convenience and the reliability of the shuttle outweighs the small amount that we'd be able to save using rideshares. The next step is going to take place at Orlando International Airport, where this jacket now feels unnecessary. Universal will typically text you a couple days before your trip to remind you of what's going on, where you should be going as soon as you touch down, make sure that everything is good with your reservation. They'll even include a little map here show you exactly where you're going. You're gonna work your way from your gate of arrival over to the tram, which is gonna take you back to Terminal A. MCO is a pretty big airport, so it's possible that you're not picking up your bags in the same terminal that you're being picked up by Superstar Shuttle a little bit later. Make sure when you've got your bags, that no matter where you are, you check the map, you work your way over to Terminal A. That's where pickup is, very important. Baggage claim is typically gonna be downstairs one level, so follow the escalators down to grab your bags. And then Superstar Shuttle Pickup is gonna be one level below baggage claim on level one. And here it is, right around the corner. That Superstar Concierge desk is open between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you miss that window, there's a number you can call, but if someone is actually working there, you can go pick up one of these handy dandy blue books. This is your vacation itinerary if you've booked a package. All of your tickets are going to be in here, unless you booked annual passes like we did, in which case you won't get them there, you'll get them at your hotel. This will have everything that you need to board the shuttle, get to your resort, get settled. Also has your park tickets in it, as long as they're not, as I said, annual passes. The actual shuttle pickup is a little bit further down, it's a little bit of a walk. So once you get your blue book, start heading down, I believe it's on the south end. Magical Express, if you're used to that, they have an area of pickup. The Universal Superstar Shuttle has a spot, so you have to find the spot and the concierge will direct you. Sapphire Falls. Sapphire Falls, okay. So the Universal Superstar Shuttle is a charter service. It looks like Muir's Transportation is loaning out some charter buses to Universal for the purposes of the Superstar Shuttle. They may not all have that blue Universal wrap, so whatever's in the spots that the concierge directs you to, that's your bus. Make sure you don't miss it. So that's it, guys. Superstar Shuttle. Super clean, super easy, gets you right where you're supposed to be. Until next time, I'm Tim, that's Katie. Every day is a new adventure.